The Long Telegram and Containment After World War II, America had a diplomat living in Moscow, the capital of the Soviet Union. He was supposed to be the American government's expert on the Soviet Union and its history. This man's name was George Kennan, but he was known at the time as Mr. X. In 1946, the, the American government asked Kennan why the Soviet Union was not going along with some of the post-war agreements. Mr. X. In response, Kennan sent what came to be known as the Long Telegram. The Long Telegram explained Kennan's thoughts about the ideas of the Soviet government. Kennan's opinions about the history of Russia and the Soviet Union focused on four ideas. First, Kennan stated that the communist government and ideology believed they would be constantly at war with capitalism. Second, Kennan stated that the Russian people strongly believed in Russian nationalism. Third, Kennan believed the USSR could never listen to reason or logic. They would only respond to force. And fourth, Kennan believed the USSR could never have peace with capitalists, so they would try to spread communism or socialism to as many countries around the world as they could. For these reasons, Mr. X suggested trying to contain communism. This means that America would try to surround the USSR with either capitalist or, at the very least, anti-communist countries. In many cases, America would end up supporting some very filthy, dirty, rotten people and governments just because they were not communists. In this map, the blue countries are anti-communist. So do you think America was successful with containment? This was American policy from 1946, when the Long Telegram was sent, until 1991, when the USSR broke up. Some might say we continue to try to contain Russia today by helping to spread capitalism to more countries in Eastern Europe. Mr. X